Well, good afternoon. It's kind of a uh, old rainy, damp day, if you can tell. I've been getting a lot of rain around here, south of Missouri lately. Uh, we did have a couple good days this week. I was able to do some work, um, but I did some work this morning, and then it was supposed to start raining, so I didn't really want to dig any ditches or holes. So I did a few things around here, and uh, I've been needing to change the cutting edge on my Cat 259 skid steer here. This is a smooth bucket. It's got a removable cutting edge of these bolts. Uh, as you can tell, the corners are getting wore off pretty bad. It's starting to wear into the bucket itself a little bit. I don't know how well you can see. It looks great and then tapers off. Apologize, that was probably loud. Uh, it'd be kind of nice if they had like a bowl here and then had a little split section here where you could take it and flip it. And then put it on that end and flip it and give you kind of four corners. I think they do that on some bigger machines, but nothing like this. So I have never flipped it to the goods the other side. Pretty sure it's reversible. So I'm gonna flip it. I uh, I stuck a pipe wrench on here a while ago. Now I can turn them, but with a pipe wrench, the nut, but then I don't the <laughs> bolt heads on the telephone. Bolt heads are can't get the allens up in them to hold it, so no big deal. I'm just going to take the plasma cutter here and uh, split the nuts probably on both sides or whatever I need to do, and then take my hammer and my chisel and knock them off, and we'll get them all knocked out, and then we will uh, put the cutting edge and see if we can't put some new bolts back in it and go the other way. So I'll get the camera set up here and start cutting. Hopefully y'all can see pretty good from there. Uh, couldn't tell if the sun may be trying to glare. I don't have the greatest lights, so get my earplugs in, safety glasses on, start cutting. I don't really care. Uh, I don't really care about the bolts because I got new ones. So if I get into the bolts while cutting the nuts off, no big deal.
that. You can see on the, that last one was a little bit of a pain. It had some dirt around it. This one's on the solid horse, so I'll move it in a minute when I flip the deal around. Oh, I'll probably cut it work pretty fast on that. Uh, try and scrape these things up, they're kind of hot. You walk on them and it melts your soul. Rolls up your shoes, that is. Talk about souls. If you don't know Jesus, the devil will melt your soul. And we don't want that. I uh, set my saw horse for part of the cutting edge would be on it. So I didn't have to worry about falling and hitting me. Nobody wants that. Or at least I don't. And one tip, I always take my cell phone out of my pocket because I have those hot sparks that get up in there. I've melted some screen covers and put a little dot in some screens. So I'm going to grab a bar, I think, so I can pry that bucket up. Maybe prop it up. And, uh, I can flip that edge around. So I probably could just get in the machine, pick it up, put this on, see it back out. But it's hard to get in and out with the door. So I'm going to see if I can do this first. Head. 
I don't remember, but two inches overall, inch and a half threads. I don't remember what I paid about those and these. Plus, I couldn't remember how many I needed, so it was just simplicity at the time. Sometimes it's hard to find time to do things. If I can get me a socket and an Allen, I'll get it going. My stereometric bolt, uh, 3 8 Allen didn't fit it. This 10 millimeter fits it in there a little easier. But the uh, 5 8 seems to fit in, so. If I can get a bolt or two started, then I'll take that spacer back out. just to grab it that time actually worked pretty good. Let me start on this bowl and I'm gonna start cotton. supposed to do me a certain order or not, but kind of start in the middle and work my way out. They're a walking nut, so I'm just going to give them pretty tight with this impact. They should be fine. Half inch drive is not super strong, so I shouldn't break them. I'm probably going to play tight. Before this was wore back, we're starting to touch that, so now we got all this edge fresh again. Try not to wear the bucket. So maybe once, like I said before, on the tooth bucket, they're just bolted here and there on where the double holes are. There's no cutting edge on it, it's just the bucket itself. So my tooth bucket's starting to wear in between the teeth back here so we'll watch it and wear this cutting edge out I may end up the teeth are getting a little low on it but little not bad just the edges thought about flipping them to the middle I might end up putting teeth on this one and put a bolt on cutting edge on that one we'll just see how it wears um, the machine's got like 1900 hours on it uh, most of it's been with a bucket, some of it's been with a Harley rake, brush hog, but uh, we've kind of ran back and forth on buckets depending on what we're doing. So they both have several hours on them, they seem to be holding up good. Um, they're the cat buckets that came with the machine, so 
Well, I guess it's time to pick up some tools and do a little sweating, so better wipe that off, but hope you all enjoyed the video, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you all for watching today. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, tell a friend, tell a neighbor, tell an enemy. I don't care. Tell somebody you don't like. Maybe they'll like me. Anyways, that's all I got to say. Until next time, have a good day and God bless.